That's right, folks. We're back on Grenada for the pre-spawn. Folks, it does not get any better than this on Grenada Lake, the home of the three-pound crappie. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Let's put some big fish in the boat. All right, day two. Grenada pre-spawn. The best week on Grenada, in my personal opinion. Everybody's catching three-pounders. My buddy Marcus here caught his first three-pounder. I'll show some pictures here of it. We actually took the camera off, of course. <laughs> That's how it happens. I woke up feeling pretty good about myself today. Yeah, and you're awesome. That was it was a it was, it was awesome. It was a special moment. So today our goal get another three pounder. But it seems like it's happening a lot here, and uh, because the water's low, all the fish are a little bit more condensed into a smaller area to work with, and it's the time to be on Grenada this week. It's unbelievable. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. First three pounder, baby. Going back. There it goes. There she goes. Awesome, man. Congrats. Yeah. What an experience. <laughs> So without a doubt, congratulations to Marcus catching his biggest fish. I think it was 3.06, and he actually released it. So that was the footage that I just showed you. It was awesome. Congrats. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. So today on Grenada Lake, what we're going to do is we're going to do it all. I mean, we're going to be casting to them. We're going to be vertical jigging them. Um, we're learning this lake. It just ha so happens that it actually coincides with a crappie masters event. And it doesn't get any better, folks. We fish all day, we have a great time, we catch big fish going in the boat, and we do it so many different ways. So stay tuned for this entire episode, watch the whole thing through, because we experiment trying to figure out what triggers that bite. But first fish of day number two, pre-spawn on Grenada. It's gonna, I don't know, what do you think? It's gonna be close to two. Eh. I'm gonna call it 1.85, but we'll see. 13 foot Ozark Rod, of course, that's the always the play here. What is it? 2.13. 2.13. That's awesome. That's a great start. First fish. Been out here a short period of time. It's awesome. So this is the jig I'm using. He tore it up. He pulled the, the body from the head. I'm gonna use it one more time. Um, this jig will be on the website we will call it the grenada slammer it's been hot right there Again? I think that's another two pounder. Huh? I think that's another two pounder. <laughs> that was about two minutes after the last one. And that guy was eight foot down. So we went from two feet down to eight feet down. They're everywhere. Marcus is being generous because he got the three pounder yesterday. He's he's making sure I'm dropping on anything that's significant, <laughs> which I appreciate. 222. 222. Good night. That's sick. That's sick. What you gotta do, what you gotta do. <laughs> Woo, -hoo -hoo, baby! It's warming up. <laughs> three fish, three two pounders at least. That's a that's a two five probably, if not. So on this day, we actually caught the most 
fish, most wait for seven fish during our stay at Grenada Lake. And we didn't even try. I mean, folks, we had this wait by 1130 and we were moving around looking at different areas that we weren't familiar with. That's how hot Grenada Lake was at this time. So I encourage people to go to Grenada Lake, experience it. It is your best chance of getting a three pound fish. And I can tell you that they've got great accommodations throughout the city. So a lot of good things to share about Grenada Lake. Our big fish right now is 244, so it'll be. What do you think? Look at that ball. Look at the gun on the hook. We're going to be really close. I think this is. 246. 246, so that's our new. Well, I mean, it basically matches the other one. Five big, five two pounders. Dang, it's unbelievable. Here, this is extremely tough wind conditions. Here, let me help you. Tough wind conditions here. Definitely going to be a battle to even keep the trolling motor alive. But. It's amazing how big these fish are. Absolutely amazing. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Are you guiding today? Are you working today? Yeah. All right. Are you looking for a guide on Grenada Lake? Let me tell you. The guy that's about to come in front of the screen is named Blake Cook. Check him out at Grenada Lake. He is actually guiding on the lake. He is an incredible fisherman, as you will find out in later episodes, if you get my drift. Um, check him out. He knows the lake better than anyone, and uh, my hat's off to him. The other thing I'd like to talk about is PTG. I think that is a great organization that they have in Grenada. It's a great tackle shop. They have everything, including Ozark Rod. So check out that group over there i think they are hands down the place to go to when you are in grenada but give my man blake cook a call good dude Fish a 10 footer. Nothing beats a 10 footer, in my opinion. Even if it beats a 13. Doesn't matter. 10 footer. I'd have, if I were just an everyday angler, I would probably have three 10 footers at least. And then I'd always have a, a scoping. A scoping rod can be a variety of different lengths. But I think the starting point is 12. And then you go from there. Don't forget to follow us on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're on them all. You get more up-to-date items on those platforms than YouTube. So, although I, we love doing the, I love doing the videos. Um, continue to do videos. If you want 
more of an update what's going on actually day to day, week to week. Those are better platforms for that. Marcus is like, let me catch a fish. Really? Really? That was fun. <laughs> it looks dumb. Having a great time here at Grenada. Woo! I caught my three pounder on last year. Fantastic. It's a black and chartreuse from Jinko, curly fry, uh, small head. I don't know if that really matters to the head size, but I'll weigh it out. Woohoohoo! All right, well, that's it, folks. We're done with this episode. We had a great time showing you Grenada Lake. Show you some big hammers right there. Look at that sucker. I mean, come on folks, it don't get any better. You gotta make your way to Grenada. My favorite lake by far. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe, appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.